Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. Back on Guitargate, I have no idea how I got to this page. I just refreshed and BAM! I get Surfer Girl solo cover, uh, Beach Boys cover, by Alex Abelson, who says, Unique and amazing cover of Surfer Girl by the Beach Boys. It's got three hearts. I, I don't know. I don't know who this is, but we're going to click the button. Uh, Alex, this is for you. Thanks for being a member of Guitargate. <laughs> Okay, first thing I just want to say, you guys know I'm not much of a jazzer. So even though this is like a relatively simple progression, you got one, six, uh, four, five in the key of D. So you got D. I might, I might add up here. So you got. Right? So you got D major, B, uh, B minor, G major, A7, okay? So, I'm picking up the basic changes, but all the little chord melody stuff that she's doing, I'm just going to flat out tell you, I have never spent any time trying to figure any of that stuff out. So, uh, <laughs> doesn't, mean, doesn't mean I can't, doesn't mean I won't do a little bit here and there, but for the most part, I'm just trying to take this one in. Secondary dominant there. So just little things I'm picking up. At one point, the song goes to a D7 and then modulates to the four chord where D is now your tonal center. Okay, so that's called a secondary dominant. When you uh, when you're when you play a, a dominant chord that isn't the one already in the key, but it's functioning a functioning secondary dominant, but it functions to its you know it's it's the five of wherever it goes. Right. Right there, you had a little E7 to A7, right? So that's functioning E to A, 5 to 1, and then a little, and then it did a little, uh, did it go like a little minor thing there? I can't stand this bar that pops up. That... Yeah, I mean, you got an F natural in there. That's killer. Same thing there. We had this, we had this uh, D7 thing happening, and we're going to G, and then it does this G major to G minor, that major to a minor four, Love that technique.
was hot right there. What did she do? D7. But this little move here. So, little piece of G major, right? Root, fifth, third. Yeah. Now this jumps up here. She takes this, this, like this, right? Takes this cluster up a minor third. It makes it a full, full diminished up here. So that, <laughs> that is nifty. And then where do we go from here? We go to A? Yeah. Yeah, so what this is here, all I'm focusing on is like this leading tone right here, that G sharp, it's gonna resolve to A, but she voice leads it down. Love it. Okay. Same thing there, you got the E, at the E, dominant seven, and, and you got the A major, and now bump your root, your low root up a half step, bring your uh, your middle root down a whole step to get your flat seven. You get this just diminished triad, but you raise the root a half step. Again, great push, it feels like a four. And you got this two. E minor seven, five, and then it feels like another five, A to D major. Obviously, I'm not a jazzer. Just like, I'm not. What is your name? Uh, Molly Miller. Molly Miller. Um, great job. I, again, I've said it a bunch of times in this video. I've never learned to play guitar like that. I really don't understand jazz harmony. Um, I'm sort of picking out little two five ones, and I love that blues turnaround you did at the end. So many things in there. So many things that I just don't. Um, uh, I just don't know, but. I love how much you love it, and I love, um, like, it's so clear how you're just letting it breathe. You're not rushing any of the parts. You clearly came up with this whole arrangement, um, and you have a great sense of the style. Like, it just flows. It never, it never, um, it never comes across like this isn't, this isn't exactly as it should be for you, right? If I were to try to do that, it would come across like, yeah, this, you know, like, like this this is not how it should be like you you don't you don't know this tune you crushed it and that's it um alex abelson alex thanks for being a member on guitar gate and thanks for turning me on uh to what is her name one more time molly miller i really do appreciate you all and everybody that's watching if you dig the vibe here please hit subscribe it's that little button there you can ring the bell in the bottom right hand corner of your youtube video it lets me and YouTube know you'd like to see more videos like this. That's it, my friends. Cheers.